What's up uh, on a stormy Monday evening across the state of Oklahoma? Uh, there's storms rolling in all the way to midnight here in the Tulsa area. We haven't gotten anything yet, but they're saying it's a coming. Uh, I like storm season, Jay. Money says hit the like. Happy Monday to everyone out there in Soonerville. Uh, Surgeaholics, welcome to the Sooner Surge Double Trouble. As always, live with you. That's right. Hope everybody's have a had a good Monday. We got Monty from Tennessee. We got Teresa from Illinois. Uh, Iowa Sooner. All over the country, baby. All over the country. And let's get into the Caitlin Clark. Uh, first off, I want to say this. Live from Seattle, too. That's right. Seattle. We all over the country. Surgeaholics are everywhere. Hey, Caitlin Clark, that game tonight was unbelievable. And I, I love the four quarters they play instead of two halves. Caitlin Clark showed up to play. They beat LSU. Thank goodness I cannot stand LSU in basketball. I was glad to see it. And how about her postgame comments? thought those were pretty, pretty good. What were they? Well, basically, LSU didn't come out for the national anthem. And Caitlin Clark said, once I knew that happened, I knew I had to go win it for America. Something, yeah, look, something I, of that asses. Something of that. I caught I caught some of the game. I didn't watch the entire game. But... Jared, did you do any April Fools today? No. Anybody play any on you? No. There Absolutely not, Jay. Overrated. Yeah, I was Maybe happy the most Kay overrated holiday of all time. I was happy for Caitlin Clark. Uh, April but... Fool's may be the most overrated of all time. It's not really a holiday. What do you mean it's not a holiday? It abs it's absolutely a holiday. No, it's not. Wait, April Fool's isn't a holiday, Jay? No. Hmm. You're ridiculous if you think April Fool's is a holiday. I thought it was, Jay. It's a day. It's April 1st. It's not a holiday. Okay, Jeez. good job. I, I learned something new from you tonight, Jay. That's shocking, but I did. Basically, on this day, you can't see anything Anything you read on Twitter. In Will Fung on 3, I saw that, and I was wondering, is that an April Fool's joke? That's what I was wondering. Uh, it's not, Jay. And Moser, not taking another job. Absolutely isn't. No. I had to work today so I, I, I just I just assumed it was a holiday sorry Halloween's a holiday Jay correct I, I think so yeah uh, Groundhog Day is better than April Fool's absolutely Kyla Anderson says won't Clark take her sponsorships with her to the pros? She's still going to bank. She's banking on the big three is going to pay her three to five million, whatever it is. If she goes to that. Why would you not? Wait, she's going to go play in the big three? Yeah. While she's playing WNBA, it may not be allowed no, in the contract. it's not the same season. It's not the same season. It may not let her in the contract, Jay. Oh, I think it will. All I know is it's April 1st, Jay. We're 19 days away from the spring. Getting closer day. and closer. Yes. Ready to rock. Jimmy Green Beans, I don't know if you saw it today, but looks like he took over for Jackson Arnold as QB1. Absolutely, Jay. Sure did. Jimmy Green Beans, the legend of Jimmy Green Beans grows. It's a never-ending growth, Jay. Yeah, Chester, I could use some NIL to pay for some things. That's for that's for sure. Every NIL package across America, every sport's going up, Jay. And that's Hunter's Hunter's correct. Just like I said earlier, she can play in that. It's out of season. WNBA guys, as much it does not make much money at all, and it's sad, but it doesn't. Could Caitlin Clark play in the NBA? Question, legitimate question. Come on! What? Let's not even start. I think she could play in the NBA. K 
Can she outshoot some NBA players? Yes. Playing in the I NBA, think Jay. Play in the NBA. I'm not gonna. I'm not, saying I'm not gonna chase not, this rabbit. Okay. I'm not saying she would dominate, but I think. I think she could play <laughs> the NBA. Eric says absolutely not. It, it's ridiculous, Jay. I don't know why you bring that up. I've had yeah, some. Talk about I've had some dumb takes, but golly, Jay. Jeez, Louise. It's a physical league, that's for sure. Hey. Yeah, I agree, not man. Not, not, yeah, I, Jay let, brought it up. I barely that, watched the game tonight, okay? Sure, sure, sure. Jeez, sure, Jay. sure. Hey. Uh, <laughs> Bring it, Jay. Hey, Germ. Uh, the trivia question I got tonight is going to be a good one about OU football, by the way. But uh, one thing I was wanting to talk about, we're 19 days away, like you said, from spring game, okay? And we're going to be doing, we're going to be putting some videos out leading up to spring game about uh, different things and different position groups. And we talked about it the other night about what we thought might be the strongest position group and the weakest position group, right? But in particular, I would love to talk. I know we've we've talked about this a ton, but the linebacker room, okay, Kobe McKenzie, uh, Kip Lewis, Danny Stutzman, Garen Cannon, those four, okay. How seriously, right now, Garen Kinnick, you think? start okay here i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do this speculation of who starts I, i'm not speculating i'm saying you want so are those the four are those the four is there anybody else that we're missing that should be well Matt, Matt is bringing up brett mez is bringing up the son mccullough because the word is he's playing more linebacker but listen uh all i know is the linebackers you you mentioned five guys if you count mccullough and they're all very very good in my opinion the only one of the five who should play uh, 90% of the snaps is Danny Stutzman. Well, I, I'm fine with yeah, all I the mean, others I, rotating I, I, through, Jay. Danny Stutzman's got to play mostly. Okay, but what what I, I think what I'm trying to get at is we've seen all four of those guys play. We have not seen Lewis Carter play. We have not seen Sammy play much okay we've seen Desan play but not really at linebacker um i i kind of this is just a gut this is a gut feeling and a gut uh thing that i have here is i think we're going to be seeing i think somebody that we have not talked about at all may emerge and get a lot of playing time at linebacker either lewis carter either deshaun or sammy i i think i think somebody could emerge and well, get some oh, over who thing. jay oh, over who though i i don't know jeremy i don't know i i don't know but or is kobe taking another big step do you think kobe takes the bigger step and gets in there more i haven't heard enough about kobe mckenzie mez thinks danny should move to mike linebacker and, and here's the deal i i think the move could be made uh they are stacked across the board at linebacker, okay? And I, I would have no problem with Danny Stutzman and Lewis, Danny Stutzman and Canick, Danny Stutzman and, and McKenzie, Danny Stutzman and Carr, like Danny Stutzman and McCall. Like, there's a lot. I don't know that McCall is big enough, but he is bigger than Kip Lewis, though, so. Yeah, Bobby says Lewis Carter and Desan are going to play. I've heard all offseason Desan will be the second best linebacker behind Stutzman. Hey, and Sooner fan says Kobe McKenzie is physically the most gifted linebacker. He just hasn't proven he can be the guy. Is when you talk NFL talent on linebackers, rank them. And you, when I say NFL talent right now, obviously Danny Stutzman's one. And, and this includes upside when I use the term upside. Who out of that group would you think would be behind Danny Stutzman as the next best for NFL? NFL talent. Lewis well, Carter. I'd still, I mean, I'd be basing it Kobe. solely on, I'd be basing it solely on size, because uh, a lot of them haven't played that, yet. That's so what I can't I'm really, asking. That's what I'm asking. I mean, 
Kobe McKenzie, I'm not sure his lateral uh, running. That, that would be my thing. And Kip Lewis, I just don't know. Sometimes the smaller linebackers, when they get to the NFL, it's tough on them. Uh, Bobby says, Stutzman, Lewis Carter, Kobe Stone. See, that's what I'm saying. So, Kanick and Kip Lewis are smaller when, when you think about it, when you when you think about NFL-type linebackers, right? Well, I mean, here's the thing. If you're going to say Stutzman is one in the NFL, the highest prospect, then you've got to say Kanick's number one, too. Huh? They're identical, Jay. If you're basing it off size and speed, Canick's right there with Stutzman. So. Canick's not Danny Stutzman's size. Go look it up, Jay. He is not 6'4". Sorry. I agree, Chuck. Not I agree, Chuck. We haven't Chuck, we haven't seen it yet. We haven't He's seen not him yet. Four, though. Well, this he, is all speculation. It's 19 days away from spring game. I said that, it. Jay. You're the one that asked the question. Cracker, you, Cracker Mac, you can't say looks like he's not playing much this year. Like, that's an absurd take. And, and this is true. This is true. Brian Osamoa. Now, Kenneth Murray's pretty good size. Brian Osamoa was not a big linebacker. And he's doing pretty good in the NFL. So, uh, again, Jay, wanna... I, again, I hope, I hope that they rotate a lot of the guys through. Keep them fresh uh, so that when they get into SEC play, they're fresh. They can't wear these guys out uh, early on. They can't wear wear them out throughout the season. If you got dudes across there, let's roll out with them. Ron Stutzman doesn't know what playing it safe. He is going to play his guts out. I don't know what you're saying. Play it safe. No chance, yeah. dude. No chance. Exactly. Brian Osamoa, six foot, two twenty seven. Yeah, size wise, this is about the best size wise, talent this is wise, SEC best linebacker, linebacker group in a long time. This great linebacker core going to the SEC should be. Yeah, right. Absolutely. I disagree. I, I disagree. I think Canick stopped playing a little good a little bit earlier than that. But but if you remember right, Danny Stutzman did get kind of banged up a few times and just played through it too. So the shoulder thing bothered him a lot of the year. Canick was Canick was elite against Texas, 13 tackles. Chuck says that's right, Jerm. Mix it up. Fat, fresh, fresh, fresh. I agree with you on that. L let the me ask you this. Let, let, the, let, let me say this. If you have four or five, six, whatever linebackers, okay, and they're all, none of them are other than Danny Setsman, let's say None of them are heads and shoulders just way above the other one. Wouldn't it make more sense to play a guy that's fresh? Because he's going to be faster. He's going to be – I mean, now we'll see how that works. I think a lot of it, though, depends on the situation because I think what they can do with Desan McCullough, what they can do with Lewis Carter and some of these guys is play them in certain situations and uh, on blitz packages. I think – I expect Zach Alley and Brent Venables – to probably bring the most pressure than they brought at OU yet in the well, third, I, in the, this third year. And it What's that? I've said that before, and they haven't done it. I hope you're right. Larry says think, size think, isn't a problem. It's tackling at times. Mark wants to know what the Big 12 stuff's going to be done, what they're going to do with the Big 12 stuff. Chester, I agree. There's a lot of people who have bashed Canick. I, for one, have not been one of those. And, and here's what I'll say, Jay, and viewers. Here's when you know you should play the 2D. Are you guys listening right now? Please listen to this. I, I know I say a lot of dumb things, and, and people just can't listen to it because it's too much yelling, blah, 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 whatever. Here's what I'm going to say. Here's when I know you should be playing the 2D. And you kind of alluded to it, Jay. If there's not a clear – if I'm okay with any of these guys as a starter, I should be playing them all every game. Yeah, if if you're if you're that's the thing. If you're having a tough time picking who should start, then just just play rotation. I mean, play right. If you got one in one A, you got to play them all. Yep, McCullough. I don't think McCullough is going to start at line, linebacker. Well, I mean, I, we'll I see. Just don't think. I just don't think. And listen, it gets to the point where it's like in the NBA or other sports. 
At some point, it's going to become like this, Jay. It doesn't matter who starts. Yeah, and Gary, you know, we hey. have, one thing I'm disappointed in, I guess I could say disappointed, but maybe I'm more anxious, is I, I want to hear from Zach Allen. I want to hear from him, his philosophy. We've talked to a guy from his old school there that told us a little bit about him. Gary says he's read some stuff about what he likes to do. I'd love to hear from him. And I, you're right, Gary. Two things I know to be true about Zach Alley. He does love being pressure. He also loves to rotate a bunch of players. So, hey, Jay, listen. People are mentioning kind of position groups that you don't rotate. Obviously, I'm, I am I never liked a two-quarterback system. So, quarterback. Doesn't work. O line, kicker. I don't want to rotate kickers and punters, uh, and everything else. Fair game. Look at this, Kenneth, and you Kenneth. agree. Kenneth agrees with me. Wow, you I guys thought you agree. Unsubscribed, Kenneth. Did the eclipse happen today, or is that next Monday? It's next Monday, Jay. I, I was being I was being facetious, but. Uh, Zach doesn't have permission to talk until OU the SEC. Uh, yeah, gag, gag order on Alley. What does it tell you? Does it tell you that maybe he doesn't want people to know what the philosophy is? I it's kind of weird, isn't it? Well, what it tells me is Zach Alley could care less about being in front of the media. He's there for one reason: to coach at the University of Oklahoma. That's what it tells me. I would agree with that. Bobby, I think you rotate on the O-line until you figure out who it's going to be, and then you stick with it. And give guys a breather, you know, on a series maybe. But uh, other the other position groups, I I'm talking, you just – you are just it – it's like guys on the sideline, uh, get, you can't hold them back. Just rotate them all in there. Now, here's the problem, Jay. Here's the problem. You can't do that against fast-paced offense. You have to pick your spots to rotate. And that's the problem with college football now. Like the offense can de de uh, determine and dictate when you sub guys. I'm not a fan of that. I hate that. Well, that's the way it works, man. Can't change. That I rule. agree. It is though, but I, I hate uh, it. You can't, you can't let defense just sub if you're running a play. No, I get that part, Jay. Hey, realistically, if Zach Alley comes in and they just light it up on defense this year and next year. You, you probably have him for two to three years, and he probably gets a head coaching job. I mean, if, if they turn it around defensively, it would be really good. I like what Tyler says. Biting the cage, bleeding or foaming at the mouth. Like, you want dudes. You want dudes who are ready to roll at any given moment. And, and Kyla, I don't understand the too much rotation causes penalties. Yeah, if you don't get him in there in time, it's a penalty. But other than that, it shouldn't have any effect on penalties. What do you think about Mike's and the helmets, Jeremy? I'm a fan. Monty, 14 days, I think, from now is when it April opens. 15th. April 15th, 14 days. Cracker Mac, Ted Roof's philosophy was, you, you might say it was like Venables, but it wasn't, he was not a Venable prodigy. A protege. He was not a Venable branching. The, the dude's way older than Venables. He had his own style. Now, they may have had agreements of how they want things to look, but it's not the same. It's not comparable. Ted Roof was a puppet. He didn't He didn't call. I mean, Jeremy, he didn't. Correct. I, I agree, Jay. Bobby, you bring up an excellent point that we probably have failed to talk about enough on here, Bobby Redwine, and, and that's OU. I'm not going to cherry coat this at all. Haven't been very disciplined, Jay. They've had too many uh, personal foul penalties, unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. They haven't been haven't been good as far as discipline. They've had offsides penalties. Third and twenty, you have defensive holding. Like you've got to be better than that. That's discipline, and maybe taking some of that responsibility off of Brent Venables will allow him to focus on some of the things he needs to be focusing on. Yeah, over under on portal defects, I think nine. I say under nine. Uh, 
Crackle Mac, I think it's probably in the in the first two years. That's that's his biggest mistake so far, is what uh, I would Jay, say. Jay, don't Jay, uh, Jay, don't yeah. you think? Don't you think that? And if Zach Alley pans out to be as good as they thought, uh, is there part of you that thinks maybe Venable's wishes he would have just made that move really early on? I mean, he obviously went with the safe pick. Had he brought Alley in the first year, there'd have been a lot of risky risk there. Roof was the safe. I think there was a lot of risk with Ted Roof. I think when he was hired, everybody was like, who? I agree with that too, Jay. So, I mean, I don't know if you can say that. Uh, Blake says, I don't like mics in the helmet. It takes an element of crazy away, cr crazy crowds away. That's one of the wildest parts of college. I, I kind of disagree a little bit, Blake, because I don't think it takes the crowd away. I, I think they're still going to have, if the crowd's loud, it's still going to be an issue. I mean... They're still going to hey. communicate it. The mic is not in every player's helmet, right? It's just the quarterback. Correct. And they still have to do communication uh, to yeah. the players. C.S. Land, uh, let me respond to your comment and your question here. Uh, do I think Allie could be a puppet as well? No. And here's why. I mean, I guess you could say to some extent, but here's the deal. I never heard the players talking about how great it was to have Ted Roof coaching them. Players have come out and said how great it is to have Zach Alley there kind of leading the defense. So we, I, I'm just saying, based on what I've heard from players, it, it's not even comparable. He's not a puppet. Now, he's an extension of Brent Venables, 100% absolutely. But he's not a puppet. He's his own guy. We didn't get that language with Ted Roof. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, I think the uh, the Michigan guy definitely is going to be looking for for some things. Count them out, Bobby. Who's count who out? Who's Eric? Who are you talking about? Who we counting out? Who we counting out, Eric? It's time for trivia, Jay. Talk about the description for the quarter zip. Let's go. Okay. These viewers trivia. want to win something. Let's give them something. Here's also, the deal. Also, we have a trivia, trivia winner, Jay. A few things. First, I might have misspoke earlier on the Caitlin Clark. I don't know if that was a true comment she made at the uh, press conference now that I'm looking at it. It might have been a fake. It might have been April Fool's. I don't know. Uh, it is April Fool's. But anyway, fanstop.com. Use code SURGE. You get 10% off your first three months of the Shirt of the Month Club. But here's, here's this something you need to check out. In the description of this video, guys, everybody listen up. There's a free giveaway. You could win. All you got to do is go to the link in the description and click on it. Fill out the form. When you do, you're in the drawing for a free quarter zip OU pullover. It's sweet. It's legit from the fan stop. Officially licensed OU gear. It's not difficult. You click on the link after the live show and you fill out the form. That's it. And uh Put your name in there. You could win. So go do that. Here we go. Sooner Trivia fan. For the night. Wait, Sooner fan was March winner. He's asking what he won. There will be something. I know uh, one trivia winner won the Toby Keith shirt. Correct, Jay? Yeah. Well, yeah. So there will be something. We'll reach out to your Sooner fan uh, for info. Hey, but Sooner congrats fan. for March. Let's Sooner go to fan. April, Jay. Sooner fan, drop uh, your size in the, in the chat. Uh, okay. Here we go. Trivia for tonight. April 1st, April Fool's. It's not going to be a trick question, though, I promise. Uh, who has the most rushing yards as a running back for Oklahoma against Texas? Single game. Hmm. I think I know it. Uh, Hey, and Sooner fan. It's not There's Quentin Griffin. Quentin Griffin, that's a good one. Uh, not Dupree. Not AD. Damon Parker. Did somebody say Damon Parker? Yes. Who said it? It was back up there. It there. Is. I think C.S. Land might have been first. Yes, DeMarn Parker, 291 yards against Texas. 
single game hey, and sooner, record. Sooner fan, just email us at uh, OU Sports Roundup at gmail.com uh, and we'll get in touch with you about something, whether that's a quick trip gift card, something. Uh, you'll be receiving something for the winner, but make sure you get in touch with us at OU Sports Roundup at gmail.com. Dominique Whaley was over, over, underappreciated. Sorry. So was Damon Parker because he played on a crap team. Damon Parker yes. was unbelievable. Yeah, 291 yards, man. Yeah, unbelievable, Jay. I would like to have seen what Damon Parker would have done with some of the other lines that they had once uh, Beat and Bo got here and a little bit prior to Beat and Bo. Yeah, correct. Did we ever figure out what Eric was talking about? I said not. Uh, Bobby says he didn't. We, when do we start? Uh, there was a one time trivia Toby Key shirt winner. Bobby, we'll take care of you. Don't worry. We got something for you. We're trying to improve everything. Okay. That's what we try to do at the Sooner Surge. Try to get bigger, better. Uh, everything, take care of the viewers. Uh, so work with us. Just reach out to us. Let us know. Thanks. Uh, P. Ryan put up 427 yards on Kansas. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, Bobby said discipline costs OU four championships. I want to know which ones. Yeah, I, I, I disagree with four. I mean, I can't think of four. And you can't say, like, USC was just a whooping. They, they they weren't going to beat USC. Then. Yeah, what four would it be, Jay? I don't know. That's one. I mean, LSU, def, I mean, it, maybe the LSU game with Jason White, but the LSU playoff game, no. Maybe they're talking, maybe he's talking. Hey, about Hunters, walk, Hunters should come on here. Georgia on semifinal, probably, because the, the kick, well, that wasn't really a discipline issue. Trap House, appreciate that, buddy. Thanks, Trap House. I know the weather's getting bad in Norman. I'm I'm curious if Hunter's uh taking cover there. Uh, Jay, Hunter can join us if he wants. Says it's uh, Hunter says it's unbelievable. So I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, you you can't count the USC like the Tim Tebow year. I, I'm not sure discipline was the reason for that. There there are mistakes that were made. Demarco Murray was hurt. I mean, there's a lot of things that worked into that. Yeah. Oh, Tyler says, what's up, Oki Crabgrass? Hey, Oki Lawn Guy, I you probably do have a great lawn, I would imagine. Uh, UW is one. What? University of Wisconsin, Washington, Jay. Was one what? I, I don't says, understand. That wasn't this when those little ponies came running out prematurely. Uh, yeah, Mar Mark's saying, well, do mechanics have nice cars? In other words, Jay, you're assuming just because the tag name is Oki Lawn Guy, he's got a nice lawn. I would think he does. That's what I would think. I may be wrong. He can answer if he does. Colin asked this earlier. Listen. Hey, Colin, I'm going to answer your question. It's going to be 100% accurate, okay? It's a fact. A deep ball to uh, Burks from Jackson Arnold, defensive pick six uh, from Peyton Bowen, or I don't need, or see a 50-yard field goal make. It doesn't matter. It all matters on when, timing, and situation of the game. That, that's the only thing that matters. I'll take a 50-yard field goal make if it was to beat Texas over any of the others. I mean – it's time, it's it's circumstance, it's situational. Has to be. You can't pick one of those unless you tell me who it's against and when it happens. Well, I'm not, I don't care what it is. A 50 yard field goal makes not gonna make me jump out of my seat. And Oki Lawn guy answered it right there. He's got the fescue lawn. No Bermuda. Wow. That's that's nice. Nice. LSU, fescue yeah. I remember, listen, if Jason White right hits. If Jason White hits Kiwan Jones, oh, you beat LSU. Hey, hey, listen, Anthony, that rule's got to be changed. Has to be. You know, they put mics in the helmets. Let's change the injury rule. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. It's dumb. 
change it. You To me, if you get injured, I don't care if you're faking it or not. If you go out of the game, you're sitting till they you're sitting that series. And what Agreed. I mean by series is what I mean by series is if it's first down, you get back in when they get another first down. Correct. Uh, I'm talking. You gotta about, have some type of rule. Hey, Eric, Eric, I'm talking about Jason White's year with, with Kiwan Jones. It, it was he was wide open in the end zone. OU wins the game if you make the play. I'm not talking about Joe Burrow. Yeah, he's not talking about Burrow. He's talking about the LSU game. Eric, I'm not talking about game? the same year you're talking about. What was the final of that game? Not it was a I'm talking close about game. the national championship game. Okay? Which by the way, the other one wasn't even national championship game against Burrow. Semi. What? What was the final score of that game? Please, Eric. He went 21. They didn't 21, they didn't pound them. you that game, Eric. 21 14's not pounding them. It was, I believe it was like at that point. I mean, that that's a tie ball game, then right there. Wasn't that the fourth quarter of the last drive, Jay? Yeah. Hey, Oakley Long guy, you're 1000 percent correct, by the way. Not even close. Okay. He didn't use to. I do now. I am not concerned about the play calling at all. I, I'm interested in seeing it. I'm not concerned about it. Hey, two guys here that Gary mentioned, Phil Picotti. Um, I just maybe still think he might be a year away. Personally, I don't know. Uh, and James Nesta, two-sport athlete, baseball and football. I think he's really talented at both sports. A legitimate two-sport athlete. Uh, yes, linebacker. Correct, Gary. The linebacker hey. room is deep. That's why they didn't take a linebacker. Uh, they only took one. I mean, so. Eric, Eric, if they scored on the first play of the game, they only scored 14 points the rest of the game. I don't think, oh, you got ran out of the, ran off the field in that game. I'm disagreeing with you there. Tyler, he can definitely run a faster mile because I don't know if I could complete a mile. Okay. Yep. Yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Green Beans. Beans starter. Jimmy Green's yeah. Beans started up. Uh, That's right. Hey, I'm sorry, Eric. We, we've agreed some, but I highly disagree with saying, oh, you got ran off the field. Uh, Jason White, Kiwan Jones here again against LSU. That game was a nail biter. I do too, Trap House. I'm a fan. I like anybody that stirs the pot a little bit. You like anyone that gets me mad. Well, no. I, I like Eric, just they, be, listen, they were horrible like. against K-State. Hey, Jeremy, here's what I like. It's April 1st. We're not into the spring game yet, and we can have talk an hour show about OU football. Love it. I don't care if it's uh, talking about LSU game and whatever year that was. It doesn't matter. We're talking OU football. That's all that matters, man. I'll admit when OU got run off the field, they didn't get ran off the field against LSU. They did against K State. State. Ran off. Spro- Bobby's right. You're right. Da- Darren Sproles killed us. They got ran off the field when Mark Bradley. Uh, against USC right from the get-go. Bobby Stoops. Hey. Uh, yeah, their D-line was done. OU was owning him. What? Trap, you disappointed me. First time for everything, I guess. Uh, hey, if you look at... Uh, the, the conference championships, is it time to do away with them? We're talking about the K-State game. That was a conference championship. They got destroyed. They still made the playoff, the, the BCS Bowl. But now with the extended playoff to 12 teams, uh, would you be fine with them just doing away with the, the conference championship and whoever won the conference gets the automatic? Why have the extra game? I, I don't know what I'm going to like right now, Jay, honestly. I, I think the reason why you have to have it is because of the conferences that have too many teams. They don't play everybody. That's the problem. You can't have a true conference champion if you're not playing the same teams the other team's playing. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. And the problem, Jay, is these conferences, they're, they're massive. You can't play yes. everyone in the conference. So then it comes to – and that's right, Sooner fans. Not everyone plays everyone. So now it comes down to strength of schedules within the conference. It used to be 
strength of schedule with out, but, outside the conference. But, now it's strength of schedule within the conference. But listen, the the whole conference is the whole who you play or whatever matters about who makes the conference championship too. So, because you hey, can play not very good teams, run the table. Conference champ. Gary says conference championships should be only moved to league with divisions. Yeah, I agree. And Eric, I don't make excuses for OU. All I said was that game was tight. If Jason White makes that throw, it's a tie ball game or whatever. That's proof that they didn't get run off the field. That's all I'm saying. I'm not making excuses. I'm saying they didn't get ran off the field in that game. They did Jimmy in many others, they, yes. Jimmy says they want to do away with conference championship games. Too much money involved, though. And, and you're right, Kyla. Schedules are different. And, and right now, Bobby says strength of the schedule within the conference is the way to go. And, and this year, guys, OU is going to own the strength of schedule in the conference, are they not? Don't know. Well, they what should. If Ole Miss goes, what if Ole Miss goes out there and just flops and throws out in Arkansas all year? I'm just saying. You never know until the season goes because you don't know how teams are. Teams can be real. Tennessee could go out there and lay an egg this year. Could they not? Could, but yeah, Florida. Florida's the toughest, but I don't think they're going to be in the mix. So, on paper, preseason on paper, OU is right behind four. OU is top two. Yes. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm trying to read the chat. Sorry. Uh, has Porter officially lost the starting five? No. JVN McCollum is not left. Everybody Not else, yet. sayonara. They're gone. What if Levy's jet sweep works? You mean at Mississippi State? Well, there one reason it might work. Left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yet. And I don't know if he Bobby, ever will, Jay. Bobby says, okay, one more is leaving tomorrow, Wednesday, Bobby says. I'm not sure. Uh, well, portal, portal Moser. He'll have to do it. Opie says he heard McCollum was leaving. Where'd you hear I that? I have not Opie? heard that. I've seen some stuff on Twitter. Is that yes, that's what Opie's I mean, talking I'm saying about. I haven't heard it. Hey, it's not going to surprise me any of them. So, I don't, not one person surprise. Not one person leaving any team in football or basketball will surprise me ever. Hey. Again. I'm about to rub some people the wrong way. Blake Horton says a better leading blocking tight end can make the sweep work. And guess what else might have helped the Jets sweep? Someone not named Stoops or Freeman running it. I said, Blake, I said anymore. No, I've seen too much over the last year that nothing is going to surprise me. Eric says, for what for your information, it was 21-7 going into the fourth. We scored a garbage touchdown. When was the garbage touchdown scored? How much time was left? It was a Jay, one wasn't it a one touchdown game? When what I'm asking is how much time how much time was left when, when OU scored to make it 21-14? That's what I want to know. It's not a garbage touchdown when you're a one possession game. I, 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 was I, just, I just, it is a garbage touchdown if it's really late in the game. What I want to know is how much time was left when they scored it. I could look it up, but I'm on the live I would show, love, so I can't. I, Hunter must be taking cover right now. What's going on in Norman? Is anyone in the Norman area? Because Hunter, uh, maybe the sirens were going off. We can be a weather channel too, maybe. Uh, Brennan Thompson no, we can run it. I don't know the weather. Jacquez Petaway, I tell you, he does know the weather. Aaron Tuttle. You need to watch Aaron Tuttle Meteorology. The dude's a legend. Yeah. I, Jay, Brennan Thompson, Petaway, there's other guys. Yeah, Kyla, I, that's what I thought. The open pass to Kiwan would have tied the game. I love the shovel pass. Hey, Oki Lawn guy. I don't know how you can agree with Freeman and not and not agree and and di and I don't know how you can agree with the Freeman one and disagree with Stoops. Stoops does not. You saw his forty time. He's not a jet sweep guy. 
for Loki long guy. Come on. Who's not a jet sweep guy? Yeah, Chief T Bird. I remember screaming at my television. Jay, you were in the room. Uncle Ronnie was there. They got cute. They could have just pounded it. Because I was arguing. I said, that's a that you got to make that play to Kiwan. And Uncle Ronnie was saying, no, you got to pound the ball down the throat. I said, he was wide open. Great play call. Facts. Jones scored at 11.41 in the 240, 2004 Sugar Bowl. So that's what made it 21-14 with 11.41 left? I don't know. I'm 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 lost now, Jay. I'm at all I know is Kiwan Jones could have tied the game if they'd have hit him. Somebody That's all in the chat knows the answer to that. When they scored. That's all I want to know. When, when who scored? When OU scored to make it 21-14. There was eleven minutes left in the game. That's not a good I'm gonna go touchdown. I'm gonna go back and watch it tonight. Well, there it is. So how's that a garbage touchdown? Just four, it's four not quarters. Jay. It wasn't That's a garbage That's all I want to know, touchdown. Eric, is how's that a garbage touchdown? I thought, to me, a garbage touchdown is like one minute left and you score. Hey, but. Jay, what's worse, tornado watch or tornado warning? Eric, so 11.41 question mark, how is that garbage time? How is the fourth quarter just started garbage time? I'm so confused. I'm confused by this right now. Eric, it was, Jay. When Kiwan Jones scored the one yard run, it was 21 14. Correct. How's that garbage time touchdown, though? What, what I'm saying is, they weren't, El Eric, I want you to go back and watch the game. OU was moving it right down their throats, right down their throats, and they ended up throwing the pass. Okay. I agree when with Eric. When they could have just pounded it in the end zone. I don't, listen, I, I agree with Eric. I don't think they were gassed. But also, Eric, you can't say this in all caps. You had 11.41 to tie the game. And then the same thing, say it was garbage touchdown. It's not a garbage touchdown. Hey, With I, I know morning's worse. I was asking Jay because Jay always used to get him confused as a kid. Uh, Why are we talking? There's not a tornado warning, is there? I mean, in Norman, there is. No, there isn't. That's what How someone you... just said on here. Oh, really? Uh, Hunter's probably taking uh take I don't cover. think there Eric, is one Let's all. I'm gonna go watch this game after I get off this live tonight. I and I think I'm gonna too. I I wanted look, to watch it anyway. It was 21 a weeks ago. Hey, it was 21 14. OU drove the ball right down their throats to tie the game, but instead of they're on the literal one or two yard line, and instead of running it, they got cute and they threw the ball and they missed the wide open Jones. I said at the time it was a great play call. Remember Jay? He was wide open, but really all they do was run it in. They tied the Here's game. Here's the deal. Hey, we're going to do something now called Monday Memories. And your homework for the night is go watch OU versus LSU Sugar Bowl. And tomorrow we're going to lead off with top two reasons why OU lost that game. Top two hey, reasons Jay, why OU lost it's that game. One of the, it's one of the natties I would want back more than any other because they had it. And, and the other and, thing, Jay. Jay. Kiwan Jones, in my opinion, a little bit of – I don't think he was a, uh, an elite running back at all. And Eric owned up to that. I appreciate that, Eric. That's all I was confused about was – that's why I was asking when was it uh, – when was that touchdown score because I couldn't remember. Uh, and Bobby's right about this. Bobby dropped this in the Discord. Listen, if you're not in the Discord – Bobby dropped some good stuff. Eric, they all every Kyle, a lot of them dropped some good stuff in there. We were talking about this today. That's exactly right, Bobby. You can't just fire a coach when you you don't have a guy in mind. You, Steve Lutz was not Oklahoma State's first guy. No. And yeah, what did Steve Lutz do in one year? He, how many years was he at Western Kentucky, Jeremy? I have no idea. I, I, I don't know who Steve Lutz is. He was at Western Kentucky one year and took them to their first NCAA tournament since 2013. What other coach did they go all in on? Travis Ford. What other coach did they go all in on? Mike Boynton. They got to, I think they need to learn that you got to, you can't just throw, throw guys at it with one good year. I mean, yeah. and I, he might I, be great. 
Hey, I agree with Bobby. Uh, AD coming along kind of stunted the growth of Kiwan Jones. Uh, Kyla says it was with 246 left, they're going to tie the game and they had all the momentum because they would have owned the fourth quarter, scoring outscoring 14 to zero. Bobby says, become a member of the Sooner Search, right? We're a family. The links are in the description along with fan stop links. First three months, short of the month, use code surge, get 10% off. Thank you so much for being on here. Stay safe tonight to the storms. Be weather aware. Keep your uh, radio, television uh, hooked to the weather. Thanks. We'll see you guys all tomorrow night. Boomer. Sooner.